basically I'm kind of turning into a human statue in the sense. Ashley Kerpeel lives with a rare disorder which is turning her muscles to bone, slowly immobilizing her body. The condition, called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, or FOP, affects roughly 800 people in the world, and Ashley is one of 300 cases known in the United States. We all have our own issues, whatever they may be. Some may be physical, some may be mental. This is my issue I deal with being, having FOP and being an amputee. Despite the fact she may become completely immobile, she's living life to the fullest and raising awareness of the condition to help others like her. Ashley, from Peachtree City, Georgia, was adopted by her parents, Carol and Fred Kerpeel, at nine weeks old. She was very healthy, she was sweet, she was an adorable baby girl, and we took her home, and it wasn't until she was about two and a half, almost three years old, when we noticed a lump come up on her back. At three years old, Ashley was misdiagnosed with infantile fibromatosis, and doctors amputated her arm. We were told uh, she would be fine, we'd take her home at the end of the day. It was a pretty uh, optimistic beginning and a pretty tragic ending on that same day. Around six months later, the hospital in Atlanta phoned to say that Ashley was really suffering from FOP. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I was devastated. And there we didn't have computers in our homes at that time or in the early 80s. I proceeded to go to the library and there was probably maybe five inches of information in the textbook explaining what this was. And after you peel yourself off the wall, you finally get on with it. But we were told we would only have her for maybe another two to ten years. But despite the doctor's grim prognosis, Ashley survived and is now 32 years old. But it hasn't been easy. Kids were mean and cruel to anybody that was obviously different and I had very few friends. I didn't have a social life. Kids didn't like the girl with one arm with FOP because I couldn't do anything. Just a very lonely life back then. I always knew I had FOP and what my life probably would be like. My life's a lot better now than it was probably 10 years ago. Life changes and evolves and meet new friends and it's not what I expected but it's a lot better than what I'd expected back in the day. She now takes every opportunity that comes her way. Five years ago, I was at an amputee conference and I met two gentlemen who took time and took a bunch of amputees out surfing where I never thought me being with this body, I would be on a board. And now I go out there once a year and David and Van take me out surfing as my annual surf trip. I've gone to Russia to meet another FOP girl who thought she was alone in the world, like she had no friends with FOP, knew nobody with FOP and saw one of my stories that aired in the media and wanted to meet me. I'm really involved in both the amputee community and the FOP community, going to many events, fundraisers for the FOP, raising awareness. She's even met the Dalai Lama. Back in 2007, a friend of mine who's a big contributor to the IFOPA actually had called my mom one Sunday afternoon and said, you know, you and Ashley get ready, come up to Atlanta, you're going to get to hear the Dalai Lama speak. It was just an amazing, unforgettable experience that I will have for the rest of my life. And Ashley plans to use what little mobility she has left to continue her support of the FOP community. She's taken to social media to help others and offer advice to people living with a debilitating disease. It warms my heart that I can help somebody feel better about themselves. I put so many hours into talking to newly, like parents where their kids just lost an amputation from whatever may happen. It's changed my world completely and fulfilled a void in my life that I really never knew was there. Proud is, doesn't even describe how I feel for Ashley. I'm proud of who she's become. I'm proud of just taking what she has and making the best of it. Ashley is um, probably one of the rarest people that I know that has the ability to keep her cup half full and not half empty. She's a good example to all of us. I am definitely living life as full as I possibly can.